coming to you from the Alexander Higgins blog and the Intel Hub bringing you some late breaking news. Um, the EPA just posted some results of the radiation sampling that they've been doing. I dug through it and we have uh, news now that radiation has been detected in Hawaii's milk at 2033% above federal drinking water limits. Uh, the new EPA milk samples in Hawaii show radiation in the milk at 800% above the limits for cesium-134, 633% above the limits for cesium-137, and 600% above the limit for iodine-131. Again, Cesium-134 with a two-year half-life has been detected at 800% above the federal drinking water limit, 633% above the federal drinking water standard for the cesium-137. That has a half-life of 30 years and 600% above the EPA maximum for iodine-131 for a grand total of radiation in the milk out of Hawaii at 2,033 percent above the federal drinking water limit. If you're in Hawaii, that's obviously not good news for you. There's also new readings uh, posting showing that Phoenix, Arizona has been detected with milk containing iodine-131 above the federal drinking water limit. Los Angeles milk slightly below the federal drinking water limit, also for iodine. Uh, Montpelier, Vermont has tested positive for radioactive cesium-137. That's the cesium with the 30-year half-life, and that's at two-thirds of the EPA drinking water limit. Spokane, Washington, new milk test in from Spokane, Washington, milk testing a little less than half the limit for iodine-131. Again, we have total contamination for milk out of Hawaii, 233% above the federal drinking water limits. Phoenix, Arizona, new milk samples posted within the last few hours from the EPA with readings above the federal drinking water limit. Los Angeles, California, with milk being slightly below the limit for iodine. Montepillar, Vermont, milk has tested positive for cesium-137.